Hi, I'm Noah, and recently I made a 3D computer mouse, Wiimote, computer wand, immersive pointing device, air mouse, gesture mouse, flail around it, fanatic, fantastic finger finder, I don't really know what to call it. So, originally my plan was for this little box to be strapped to the user's wrist, where they would move their arm around to move the cursor on the screen, and punch to click. However, I soon realized in testing that as hilarious it was to be randomly punching the screen as if I was in a virtual boxing match with Microsoft Word, it made the mouse very inaccurate. Also, I decided it was just way more comfortable to hold like a regular mouse. So it's used by waving around the air like a crazy person, and the buttons are under your fingers, just like a normal mouse. Um, so I built this little guy using an Arduino Yun and an accelerometer slash gyroscope module. The reason I used a yun was because this was the one lying around on my desk when I decided to make this. Also, the mouse library only works on some Arduino modules, so a more advanced Arduino is required. Such as a yun, a micro, a jue, 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 it's gotta be jue. The case itself is just made from cardstock, as it is a light, cheap material that is easily crushed with anger when you rage quit after getting no-scoped in a tough game of Minecraft. Uh, and it is wired because I do not want to deal with dealing with the whole battery thing and having to charge it and then it being empty and then throwing it across the room and all that. So I just got the three meter micro USB cable to hook it up to my computer. Well, not this cable in particular, but I got a three meter micro USB cable. Let's see how well it works, shall we? So I'm here with Lisa, and <laughs> we're gonna test this thing out. I launched Steam Big Picture because I did, and this is using the mouse thing. We'll go to the store. You can click on things in that. So just to demonstrate, look, we can we can uh, click on things. Uh, it's very easy to do. Um, uh, even Lisa can do it, maybe. Because this, this mouse works for all people, clearly. Um, yeah. So what, what's your review of the, of the mouse? It's too big for my hands, but besides that, it does actually work. It's also not the most sensitive, so a slight movement it doesn't really recognize, whereas large movements are fine. You can be honest. So when I first made this, I honestly thought that it would be a good laugh and absolutely horrible to use. However, having tried it, I actually legitimately like it. And I think that if I were to put some more work into it, it would be a very usable device when, for instance, using your computer from the couch, as I just did, or something like that. So, I decided to put it through its paces in a 1v1 video game match against my little cousin. <laughs>
yeah, that didn't exactly do as well as I thought. I didn't think it would do amazingly, but I thought it would do better than that. Uh, most of the issues seemed to stem from low sensitivity and the fact that I couldn't like pick up and drag the mouse like you'd ordinarily do. Um, but all this basically meant that I couldn't really aim very well or at all. I was mostly shooting not at him, but at the floor. Uh, so I might have lost horribly, but I'm still proud of this creation. And I think if I had a 3D printed case for it and work out the sensitivity issues, it would be rather practical for non-gaming purposes. If you want one of these cumbersome contraptions for yourself, I will post the code and a printout for the box in the description below so you can build one yourself. It definitely isn't the project for everyone. My family all said they felt like it wasn't very user friendly, whatever that means. But if you think it's for you and you've got a day to spare, I think it's worth your time. For now, I'll continue to work, use it as a computer remote from the couch. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.